Hi, I'm Danny Ecker. In Chicago Business Today, corporate giving. One tough product of the recession has been a sharp decline in charity from sources like individuals and foundations, taking its biggest one-year dip in 2009 since the mid-1970s, according to Indiana University's Center for Philanthropy. But in the same time period, contributions from the corporate sector are up 6%. It's the result of a new trend in corporate giving that's combining social responsibility and the bottom line. If we're going to invest deeply into a particular project, yeah, I mean, it, there's nothing wrong with profiting from that. Walgreens Community Affairs Manager Rafael Malpica says mixing business strategy with charity suits the company well. The Deerfield-based chain is just more than a year into a pilot program to expand its fresh food offerings in urban areas where there is less availability. He says the idea developed out of encouragement from Mayor Daley to address the issue, but also fit into the company's marketing strategy. Yes, we are getting sometimes larger basket sizes because people are saying, oh my God, I can get my bananas, my potatoes, my onions here. So, hey, while I'm grabbing diapers and milk, I'm going to grab that stuff too. Uh, so that's why it made business sense. You know, we were going into the venture, yes, trying to address an issue, but also knowing that we are offering the customer something that they desperately need and want. And Walgreens is not alone. Jason Saul teaches a class on corporate social responsibility at Northwestern University's Kellogg School of Management and is CEO at Mission Measurement, a Chicago firm that helps corporations gauge their philanthropy impact. He says traditional models of how companies address charity efforts are changing for good and that both they and nonprofit organizations need to adapt. Well, it's integral to their um, customer loyalty, it's integral to their employee engagement, it's helping them to, to expand into new markets, it's helping them to increase um, their innovation and in new products and services. Um, I think as companies more and more harness the power of doing good as a business strategy, they're going to realize that these investments are massively under leveraged. There's a market for social change that people are willing to pay for and um, so if we look at this not as a responsibility but as an economic opportunity, it opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Saul says the trend is also boosted by a growing number of untapped business markets that happen to be social in nature, such as reaching out to underserved demographics. He encourages his own students to develop business ideas that overlap with affecting social change. And that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. Check out the focus section at chicagobusiness.com or in this week's print edition of Cranes for more on the corporate giving trend. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday.